In this illustrative tutorial, let's look at how to make a rectangle. So if you're here, I'm pretty sure you're kind of a beginner in Illustrator more than likely. So I'm gonna take this slow for you, but there are shape tools in Illustrator. So you'll start out with like a selection tool, which allows you to select objects. We create objects out here on our artboard, on our canvas space. We can put them anywhere out here we want. We can select them with the selection tool and move them around. The shortcut key for the selection tool is V, and then we have shape tools. So the shape tools start on the rectangle tool and the shortcut key for that is M. And then we can click and hold to grab other shape tools. But let's look at the rectangle tool. We can click and drag to build a rectangle. Now that rectangle is going to have a fill and a stroke. So depending on what your settings are over here on the left hand side, right now I have no fill and no stroke applied to this rectangle or to any new rectangle that I create. There's also a properties panel on the right hand side where we have fill and stroke. So either one of those, we can edit the fill and stroke of the rectangle. So we clicked and dragged and we made a rectangle. We can apply a fill to it. We'll make it yellow so we can see it. And now we have a yellow rectangle. Now if we apply a stroke to it, that's like the outline of the rectangle. So let's make that a black stroke and let's make it something we can see like 10 points. So we add in 10 right there. Now we have a fill and a stroke. And we can see that out here represented on a rectangle. So every shape has a fill and a stroke to it. Now I have this rectangle selected. The other thing I can do is make a specific size rectangle. And also this next rectangle, since I have this fill and stroke selected from the original one, is going to retain those properties. So it's going to be the same style. So we're going to click on here and I'm going to say, I want this to be 100 wide and I want this to be 500 pixels tall. I could type in units, I could make it inches or pixels, whatever I want, but it'll take whatever the default units of your document are and just apply that. I'm gonna hit okay, and there we go. We have a 500 by 100 or 100 by 500 rectangle. Now in the upper right-hand corner in our properties panel, we see the transform options. So I could place this rectangle at an X and a Y value, and then this is my reference point right here. So I could say, okay, I wanna reference the upper left-hand corner and place it that upper left hand corner point at a certain value or the middle or the lower right, et cetera. And then we have the width and the height, which we could adjust here. Maybe I didn't want it to be 100, maybe I wanted it to be 200. So I could type in the two there and then that rectangle adjusts because I have it selected. Now remember, we can select our objects with the selection tool. The shortcut key is V, we press that. Now we have, well, let's try to press, oh, because I'm typing in V over here, I can hit the escape key to back out of that and then press V. And now I can grab this rectangle and move it around. I can grab multiple rectangles. I could hold shift while I click on multiple rectangles and move them around. I could click and drag and select anything within that marquee to then move them around. I could also select a single rectangle and you'll see these little corner widget tools pop up. I could round off the corners if I wanted to. And I could also scale the edges. So whenever there's that double ended arrow, you can click and drag to rescale your rectangle. And I think that's most information. You can also rotate. I should make sure I tell you that. So outside of this double ended is another double ended arrow and you can rotate your rectangle and hold it, hold shift to lock it into 45 degrees and then you could let go and now you have a rotated rectangle that you could still skew in and out and adjust just like that. And that is how you can make rectangles here in Illustrator.